Hi, welcome to episode 28 of the New England Gal Knits podcast. However, after what I just did, it should probably be like episode one or two, I just spent the last 30 minutes recording an episode without actually hitting the record button. Rookie mistake. So I know I've hit the record button. I made sure it was recording before I sat down, which then I sat down and I spilled all my water all over myself in my bed. I am in my bedroom, which I normally do not podcast in because my boys and husband are in the living room watching the Patriots game. And and I've just started off going on a tangent this episode. For those of you that don't know me, I am a Janet and I live in Massachusetts. And you can find me on a Ravelry and Instagram at the New England Gal. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back, and if you're a new viewer, welcome to the podcast. I hope this isn't too crazy for you and you enjoy the podcast. It has been, obviously I'm having a moment, so it has been super crazy and super busy. I am sorry I flaked on Vlogmas. I did pretty good. I got through day 23, but... Christmas Eve and Christmas, my husband was just like, I really just want to enjoy being together as a family without a camera in my face. So that's what we did. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched Vlogmas, who liked it and commented. Thank you so much. I really, really did enjoy doing it. With that being said, though, I feel like over the past month with all the editing and filming, I didn't do as much knitting as I wanted to because those types of things kind of took over um, my day. Anyways, I am, I've got stuff to show you and I actually do have a finished object. So my first object is a hat, here we go. And this is the Effortless Beanie. It's a pattern by Patents. And it is a knit out of a Loop Fiber Studio in the Yin colorway. And this is a worsted weight yarn. And I, I love this hat so much. It is the perfect slouchy beanie. I am so... So excited about this hat. So my husband and my two closest friends' husbands surprised the three of us with a girls' trip to New York City. That's in three weeks. So Martin Luther King Day weekend. So I decided to go ahead and knit this to wear in New York, and it is perfect. It'll go with anything I wear. I started it, it was a quick, quick knit. I could have had it done in one day. I started it yesterday, however, I love my husband. I love him, but he put dish soap in the dishwasher. Not dishwasher soap, but dish soap. I don't know if any of you have made that mistake before, but the dishwasher tub is completely sparkling clean. There was a lot of soaking up suds, running a rinse, soaking up more suds, running another rinse. Um, so it was about two and a half hours. On top of that I had to pull all the dishes out, de-wash them and rinse them and dry them and put them away. So I could have had it done yesterday had I not had a couple hours spent doing that but this was quick and easy and I got the yarn from my mother-in-law for Christmas and I just I love this and they have a wine colored marled yarn that would be the perfect weekender sweater I think that might have to go on my list of things I want to knit. Although the beginning of this year, and I'm going to film a separate video on New Year's, but I am going to be running a year-long knit-along on finishing up whips, and I'll 
talk about in the video what it is. There'll be monthly prizes and I'll go into all those details in the video, but I realize I have so many works in progress and I really need to concentrate on getting things off the needles and done. So that is going to be the first half of the year. I think I'm really going to try and concentrate on that. And as I say that, I'm going to be talking about two things that I need to cast on after I film this. So it is what it is, the quick, easy little projects that I'm going to be casting on. But my major focus at the beginning of this year is just finishing what I have on the needles and getting them off. So anyways, with that being said, let me talk about some of my works in progress. So I do have one half finished object. So these are my Christmas socks. And as you can see, I only have one of them done. I they haven't even started the second one yet, but these are the Vanilla Latte Socks and they are knit out of Once Upon a Corgi in her Peppermint Mocha colorway and it is her Coradale nylon base. I love this base. I love this yarn. It's nice and toothy and sturdy and I'm finding I really do like having a sturdier sock yarn for my socks. I love the Modine by Rechisaria. It's a hundred percent Portuguese wool that almost has the same feeling and I, I do, I love the way these feel. I love the way this is looking and knitting up. And here is the a cake of yarn and the color is just beautiful. I'm thinking I can get away, I would think, with this all year round, right? It doesn't scream Christmas. It's a pretty, actually Valentine's Day. It would be a pretty Valentine's Day sock as well with the reds and the pink. I'm going with that. I just love these so much. So that is one of my works in progress. Let me... Let me go to my brother's socks. I did not finish them in time for Christmas. I'm so close to being done, but I don't know about the rest of you, but I, when it comes to obligation knitting, it's like the last thing I want to do. And they're just a pair of vanilla socks, so it's not like I don't enjoy knitting them because I love knitting vanilla socks. It is just, I've been picking up everything else because the thought of having to get these done is driving me nuts. But and you know what? And to be honest with you, they are <laughs> massive socks. Look at them. And I look at them and I'm like, these are massive, but they fit him. So I don't, can we even on the sock blocker, look at that, they are still quite a bit thicker than my socks. So anyways, I am on the toe of this sock and I am almost done the foot of this sock. So this is something I think on New Year's I will concentrate on and get these done because there's really no excuse. They're so close to being done. And then I'll work on them at lunch too tomorrow at work. But here is, you know what, let me do. Here is the ball of yarn. These are being knit out of a Felici. Nip, it's Knit Picks Felici in the ice cream truck colorway. And <laughs> my dog lately has been going after ball bands. I don't know if he's somewhere in here. <laughs> Anyways, here is the pathetic chewed up ball band. But these are nice and soft and I've gone through already two of these and I am working on the next. But you know what? I should have enough. I could probably knit my son a pair of socks out of these as well because his feet are about the same size as mine, a little bit longer but there'll be enough in here to knit him a pair of socks out of it as well. 
So I'm almost done these. I just have to get them off the needle and give in to him. He knows that they weren't done and he's here like, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But I feel guilty about it. Sorry about that. Um, the dog was outside of the bedroom and he just came in. So now I've lost concentration. Oh, I did do a Christmas Eve cast on. I have not gotten very far on them. I'm loving knitting them, but I knit them on Christmas Eve. I did work basically a full day and then I was at church. So I did not have a lot of knitting time to work on them. And I went, I went real fancy with the knitting bag. So this is a bag from a chocolate shop in Quebec. My husband's boss brought some chocolate back for us and it is, oh, it's delicious there liquor filled chocolate and there is a Irish coffee one and I'm not a big fan of Irish coffee but the it's just the perfect amount of coffee flavor with whiskey it in dark chocolate it's amazing absolutely it's been oh, they're so good I basically have eaten a whole entire box on my own anyways Back to the knitting. So I have cast on the Williamburg socks. And here is what I have. I haven't gotten too far. I got through the cuff. And I have started on the pattern. And I do love the back of the sock is a broken seed um, or broken rib. And I am love knitting her socks. So I've knit the Clark socks by her and the... Irving socks and so these are the third um this is the third pattern I'm knitting by Jacqueline Salem and I absolutely love it and I'll stick a picture of the socks in here my printer is on the fritz it's the print in the wording prints out okay but the pictures I have lines all through them I think I have to clean the nozzle head so it's on my list of things to do with everything else. Anyways, I am knitting this out of, this is a mohair, merino, and nylon blend. And it is yarn I had dyed up myself, and it's a light gray base with purples, plums, and green speckles. And I am extremely pleased with the way this is knitting up and the way it is kind of pooling. It's striping a little bit through the ribbing, but not as much through the pattern. Not that I have that much of the pattern done for you to see. But I love this and I already have the pattern memorized so I don't need to uh, keep the pattern by me, which I love. I love knitting a pattern sock where you don't have to keep referring to the pattern that you can just kind of knit away and know where you are and all of her socks that I have knit are that way. Just can't say enough wonderful things about Jacqueline's patterns. Then the last work in progress I am currently working on is my sweater by Fiber Tales. I am not going to try and say the pattern name. I'm going to stick it here. Um, but Fiber Tales, it's her podcast name. It's Larka. I think is how you say her name. She's from Finland. Her, her pattern, I love this pattern. I love this sweater. I just, oh here is what I have. I am a working on the body. I have been throwing on a movies and a knitting away on this. I love this. I am knitting it out of Brooklyn Tweed Loft in the Snowbound color. And I did swatch for the sweater. And here it is. And I blocked it. And it, it is so soft and it blooms so much once it's blocked. I just, I can't wait to get this done. 
I am going to do three quarter length sleeves. I tend to roll my sleeves, push up my sleeves. The only sweaters that I like full length sleeves on are more of the chunky knits. But other than that, I think just three quarter length sleeves, especially on this, is just going to be more functional for me. But the yoke on this, it was so much fun. So you have the baubles, and then you go into a pearl texture. Then you have a lateral braid, which I had never done before with these little, let's see, leaf stitches. And then you go into more baubles, and then there is another pearl texture. And I have thoroughly enjoyed knitting every one of these. And someone had, had asked how easy it was. She has really good directions, as well as she links to videos on YouTube that are really clear and easy to follow and understand. So... I am just thrilled with this. I'm hoping I can finish this for New York. We'll see. So after, like I said, I have two things that I'm going to share with you guys that I want to get done. And then I really am going to plug away at this and hopefully have this done for New York. It is only 11 inches. It's more of a crop boxy type of sweater. I'm hoping it grows. It does fit. I've tried it on, um, but I'm hoping it grows a little bit more once it's blocked, which I'm sure it will. Uh, so there's not too much left on the body. And then, like I said, I'm doing the three-quarter length sleeve, so I don't see a reason why I couldn't have it done for New York. Fingers crossed. And then we're talking about walking the Brooklyn Bridge, and I'm like, you know what? It would be so amazing if I could get a picture of myself in it on the Brooklyn Bridge. We'll see. It might be too cold, though, and windy on the Brooklyn Bridge in January to even think about taking off my jacket to take a picture of it. I mean, that would be dedication. <laughs> so that is it for everything I'm currently working on. So as soon as I'm done this podcast, I am going to cast on one of two projects. I haven't decided which one, but I've got <laughs> basically three weeks, a little bit less than three weeks to finish them. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to New York with two of my closest friends. So I decided I was going to knit them some hats as well to surprise them. So... For one of my friends, I am going to knit her a quill hat, and I will stick the picture in here by Andrea Mowry. Now, I have already knit the quill hat in this yarn for me, and I just love it so much. Um, so I am knitting her one as well, and this is the Cumbria by the Fiber Company in the Dirt Went Water colorway. So I'm going to knit her hat out of this. Now she did ask me a while ago if I could knit her a hat with a faux fur pom-pom on it. And I had told her yes, but she ended up, because she didn't want to put me out, so she ended up buying one for herself. Anyways, I went and I ordered from Fab Knits a couple different um, pom-pom options for the hat. I love Fabunit's faux fur pom-poms. They are reasonably priced. There's such a wide variety of colors and styles, and you can get different sizes. Her, her pom-poms are amazing. They're reasonable. They ship at a reasonable price. I, I've only ever ordered her pom-poms. Anyway, so I am going to knit the quill again out of this again. I And I've mentioned before that this is my favorite yarn to work with. It is a wool mohair blend, so it is going to be super, super warm. Which, who knows, in January in New York City, we may need super, super warm. So I'm, this is one of the ones I'm going to knit. Then the other one, I have had this yarn in my stash for so long, and I've been waiting for the right project to knit this. This yarn, it's just, it's one of my favorites. This is Tuscan Knits, 
And this is her DK cabin base, and it is, where's the tag here? I have, I'm hoping it's out of frame, but I have a ton of stuff in front of me. So her cabin base, which is a Superwash Merino Nylon Cashmere Blend in the last petal, is the color, and I love Tuscan Knit, has the most stunning colors. I love her palette. Anyways, this was a, when Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson came out in the theater, she had a mystery club, and I think this was the last one. I didn't realize it until the last one was posted, but this was the last month in her mystery club, and I, I love this. I love this yarn, and it is so special to me, and I went and I saw Beauty and the Beast in the theater with this particular friend, so this just, I feel like, is just absolutely perfect, and it has cashmere in it, so it'll be super warm as well for her, so those are the two things I am going to get on the needle soon and not working on all my works in progress. It is what it is. I don't know which one I will start. Did I even say what pattern I was knitting this out of? I don't remember, but if I haven't already said it, I am knitting the Cinder pattern by Tristan Molina of Dragon Hordes Yarn. Um, I am knitting, with this yarn, I'm knitting that pattern. I am obviously not with the program. I think the holidays have really <laughs> exhausted me. I've been going to bed at like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And I am just, I feel like I'm tired all the time. So, yep, so those are two of the projects I need to get done in two and a half weeks. So we're going to start on that right away. And I also want to, I figure I'll start casting on while I'm editing this podcast. But then I want to type up a few bl uh, blog posts as well just to have a couple to go for the new year and then yeah I think I'm gonna do the majority of my time hiding in this room so my younger son is having his best friend over and we're in a small house it's not terribly small people have smaller houses but we're in a split entry everything's on one floor and there's not a whole lot of privacy going on so, um, I may just hide here in the bedroom all afternoon. We'll see. I have only a few more minutes to continue chatting away with you guys before I really have to start getting ready for him. But I just wanted to share one more thing. So, when I went to the New England Fiber Festival back in November, my mother-in-law had given me some money for for Christmas presents for me to pick out some yarn. So I wanted to show you, I picked up five skeins. Uh, this is by Karma Farms, and she's up in Maine, and this is her When Doves Cry, Die, When Doves Die, in D-Y-E, color. And I picked up five skeins of the this, and it is a 60% wool, 40% alpaca blend. And my plan is to knit the Maple Cardigan. This is out of the Plain and Simple book by Pamela Allen. Something just fell out at me. Look at Progress Keeper. Fell out at me. Anyways, here is picture of the cardigan. So I figure this is a nice gray color. It'll be a perfect cardigan to go over all of my flannel shirts. <laughs> my father and I have a couple of the same L.L. Bean flannel shirts. I have the women's version, he has the men's, and we joke around about how we're going to have to call each other up and make sure we're not wearing them when we're in public together. So <laughs> this morning, my parents took the whole, all four of us out for brunch to a local restaurant and I decided to wear this shirt instead because this is an American Eagle shirt and I figure, you know what, just in case he wears one of the L.L. Bean ones, 
I don't want him and I to match. Well, he showed up with a Woolrich buffalo plaid shirt. So, and one of our friends who's part of the wait staff there, and we actually met him. Uh, we obviously go to this place uh, enough that we actually met him through going there, and we've been really close since, but he came up to my dad and I, and he was just like, love the matching outfits. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> You know what, there are worse things, and you know what, I love flannel shirts and jeans, and my dad loves flannel shirts and jeans, and there is nothing wrong with that. So anyways, I figure this will be a nice cardigan. I love cardigans, and I don't have a whole lot of them, so this will be a nice color for a cardigan. And it smells, it smells like sheep and alpaca, and I just undid this here, hold on. So... Anyways, I have five skeins of this, so I will make a card again out of that. So, I think that is all of the knitting I have to share with you. So, like I said, my husband and my friend's husbands surprised us with a trip to New York. My goal is, because of all the times I have gone to New York, have not made it down to Pearl Soho, I'm going to Pearl Soho. I already told my friends that. They don't have to come with me, but I am going. Our hotel, it's perfect. It's in Midtown. It is right next to an E Metro shop, uh, Metro, Metro stop. The E train, and it's also by an N train stop, I believe, as well. And both of those go down to Soho only a few blocks from Pearl Soho. So, thinking, you know what though, my friends like to shop and Soho is just full of great shops that may do, maybe the day we get there we do brunch somewhere in Soho and then we can hit Pearl Soho, Lauderay is right by there and those that aren't familiar um, with Lauderay, it is a parish, pa I can't talk today, a Paris bakery and they do the French macarons my husband and I went in there and had the best macarons and when we discovered they had some in New York City we had gone there once twice with the kids because they have two in Manhattan one in Soho and then they have another shop up by uh, the Met um, in cent the Central Park East East side of Central Park area and the boys love it, so I have to find out because we are flying down. So I am going to have to find out whether or not I can take a box of the French macarons onto the flight. Because I thought for some reason that you couldn't take food past security, but once you're in the security area you can purchase food. I'm not 100% sure, but I would like to take home the French macarons for the boys. We'll see. Anyways, um, when I go to Pearl Soho, I do want to pick up, I think I'm going to see if they sell Brooklyn Tweed Quarry. I think I want to knit the, the big one by Hohi uh, Locatelli, um, which is just, it is a big oversized sweater, easy sweater, the big easy, the big one, the easy one. You know I will have it posted below or put it right on the screen, but in the long John colorway which is a nice pretty deep red. So we'll see if they don't, I think Pearl Soho also has their own version of a big chunky wool so maybe they'll have a nice red color. Or even do it like in a nice black. Maybe do obsidian if they have the Brooklyn Tweed. And do a big old oversized black sweater. Anyway, so I'd like to pick up some yarn for that. Um, yeah, so that is, I guess, it. And I just hope that everybody had a wonderful Hanukkah or Christmas or whatever you celebrate and all of you have a happy and safe new year and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.